Tiny Farm Guy here, and this is the new Holland TC pack by Eric on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map for this test and demonstration of these two, yes, two New Holland harvesters with this pack. 36.29 megabytes to download, uh, 20 slots on console, vehicles, and harvesters. There they are, the TC 4.9 and the TC 5000 TC 5. 105 and $120,000 each. Now let's take a look at the first one here. 175 horsepower, 300 liters of fuel, 15 mile per hour traveling speed and 5,000 liter capacity in the hopper. Uh, engine setups, it's just a visual as far as I can see. We have stage four and stage five. Stage five is 10 grand, but the horsepower doesn't change at all. Just adds 10 grand plus a few design changes as you can see with the engine. Uh, wheel brands, we got uh, your standard Trailberg, BTK, Midas, Vertistine, Michelin, and back to Trailberg. There's no variations within those brands. Warning signs, we get yes or no. Typical European type warning signs. Crop shoot. This is a visual only, as far as I can tell. It's um, it's hard. There it is. So you see that? Yeah, at the back. Uh, chopper guard. Yes or no? Another visual. Smart sieve system. Uh, if you see it there, it appears down there. It's another visual. Just on this side. So obviously something that was. Um, available for the real life version, but it doesn't do anything in the con or the computer game version. Engine covers, yes or no. And calibration or was that celebration? Celebration decal. I guess the 50,000, oh, that's what it is, 50,000. So the 50,000th <laughs> combine celebration decal. GPS again, just a uh, cosmetic addition, and that's it. If we move over to the TC5000, we have uh, quite a few more engine options here that actually do something. Uh, we have uh, 175 horsepower, we have a 227, and the 258. So we have three versions there, and it also changes our capacity of hopper capacity, 6,400 liters, 15 miles per hour, 400 liters of fuel, uh, 300 liters for the 175. And then we have a stage four, which starts over, and it doesn't, looks like it's the same as just a little different design maybe. Stage four, 227 and then 258. Yeah, so we have six different engine options. Uh, wheel brands, the same as the other one, like so. Warning signs, yes, drop, chop, uh, crop, shoot option. Chopper guard, smart sieve system engine covers and the celebration decal as well as a GPS option yes or no oh yes one other thing interior color changes depending on if it's uh, stage four five five or four yeah so Probably a um, model or option or year, something to do, do with that. <clears throat> anyway, excuse me. All right, let's hop into uh, this one, I believe is, yes. Uh, so let's start it up. Nice, here's the interior. We turn lights on, yep. Outside, back it up a little bit. We do have 
L1 and X folds. Oh, it's filled. So let's do that first. This is, oh, so this is the bigger one. Let's go with the smaller one first, actually. They are nearly identical in, however, this one has a couple of small little things that this one does not have a unfold. We have L1 and R1, right stick up and down, opens and closes the lid, the hopper lid. Now, let's, um, let's just empty our hoppers to show you how fast they empty out. <clears throat> and then we can do a little demonstration. That's it for options. There isn't opening windows or anything like that. It's pretty much just, yeah, um, a simple, a simple harvester of this design, New Holland. As you can see, there's nothing to adjust with the pipe or anything like that. It seems to unload. Here are the lights, plenty of lights. We got signals, horn. We actually have a horn. Beacons. There we go. So that is that. There we go. So let's tuck that pipe away. Now I've tested these with the base game New Holland Superflex 25 foot, as you can see here. Let's uh, lower that down and turn it on. So it should work with pretty much any um, header of nothing to. I mean, they're they're. I would consider these a small to medium sized uh, harvester, according to the horsepower. So something in this range, I think the 25 foot seems to be quite um, appropriate for this. It didn't come with any headers. So, you know, you can choose whichever one you want. So uh, there we go. Let's just drive up to the end to show you it turn around. <clears throat> there was no actually problems, as I said, as I always say with harvesters, I rarely find anything um, wrong with them. They they all seem to work pretty much perfectly every time. <clears throat> and now, of course, a different size header. He will the the worker will turn around a little differently, probably. Um, <clears throat> it approaches a little crooked, but that's typical for what I found with a lot of harvesters lately. But there you go. There's a turnaround. There is the spread. Now, if we disable the uh, enable the straw swath, there we go. <clears throat> Pardon me. There we go. So there's the straw swath. It looks just the same with the. Yeah, they both work just the same. So uh, let's pop over here and empty out this one. Because this one has a little bit of a different operation, but not, not really that much. Uh, horn, lights, interior. As, a matter, as far as I can see, they're nearly identical models. They just have a few minor differences, as you can imagine. There we go. And as you can see, it unloads. Seems to unload a little bit quicker than the other one. Like, not super quick. But anyways, you get the idea. And we'll just, um, we'll just do a little bit of a now this one, oh, yes. Let me unload it completely. All right, so we're empty here. This one does have L1 and X to fold, and that has the folding option. However, 
if you do notice, L1 and R1, we still have the right stick up and down, but it doesn't do anything because this folds and unfolds. Let me see if let's let's unfold and see if that no. So that doesn't. All the birds appeared when I did that. That's weird. Um, right there we go. So that's really the only difference between the two that I can see. Uh, let's get rid of that now. So let's lower this down and turn it on. And there we go. So very nice. Let's uh, we can watch him turn around in cab, which is something I don't often do actually. See the workings inside here. <coughs> And there we go. And away we go. Like so. And so there you have it. That's um that is the New Holland TC pack by Eric on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game. So till the next one. Bye for now.